Good morning everyone. It's 23rd February 2017 and welcome to another episode of Pro AMT Traders Digest. Let me go through the disclaimer first. Trading in stocks derivatives involves substantial risk of loss and not suitable for all investors. Past or simulated performance is not a guarantee of future results. All indicators, strategies shown in the video are for education purpose only. All levels discussed in this video are for understanding the study and not a recommendation to trade. Please consult your personal financial advisor before making any trade decision based on this video. We will not be responsible for any resulting profits or losses. Now today is uh, the expiry of the February contract of the <coughs> derivatives. Friday being the holiday, this would be the last trading day of the week as well. So this uh, the close of today would be the weekly close. Yesterday I had not done the digest because the levels stayed the same that this 8893 was the reversal level after uh, it uh, gave a spike and uh, so that is the that is the point from where the auction broke out so didn't want to just do do the uh, traders digest for the sake of it and the upper reference was 8949 which is already hit So the open was within the range, but uh, the open pushed higher. And when when you have a spike, and you have let's split this. So you have this M period low, which is uh, which is very uh, visual reference for day time frame traders, because L period breaks out and M period pulls back. So that's uh, a congestion zone for uh, uh, many day time frame traders and they lean a quite they lean quite a bit on such references so a period breaks out b period pulls back is not able to push into this and then c period breaks out d period comes till the b period high and then slowly one time framing up so B period low is higher than the A period low, C period is higher than the A period low, D, E, F, G. All lows are higher than previous bar lows and that's why one time framing up. H period high could not break above G period high. That was the first sign and we'll, we'll have a look at the one minute uh, how we got that sign. So that was the first sign that one time framing might stop and the moment the one time framing stopped it broke this low and directly to the developing point of control pulls pulls back up and then pushes down pushes down but protects this low so when th that is protected the uh, ideal location or ideal destination for the auction for a pullback is into the developing point of control. So it does that, falls short of that just a bit and then again fails and pushes back down. Breaks that low and then L period is not able to break the low of the K period and again rotates back. Now all as it started rotating back higher, the rotations got smaller, it could not reach the highs of the J period, M period could not even read the high of the L period. So uh, a nice setup here to trade, uh, scalp few longs and shorts into this balance. Overall, what we have is a kind of a balanced profile with a gradation at the uh, uh, higher part above the point of control. But at the same time, we have anomalies here, three anomalies here, and then a nice distribution on the lower side. 
so we'll we'll discuss in the hypothesis what what are the likely scenarios but uh, this is what we can make out from this and uh, with the point of control above the previous day high just above the high so that means as of now the higher prices are being accepted now on the 1 minute this had started a channeled move up so that channeled move continued higher i'll just mark that channel so if we join this becomes more like a rising wedge and then creates a balance here and breaks down from that balance so creates a balance breaks down again tries to push back up into this fails if you see there is a minor balance here creates a balance there tries to push back fails and continues its move down then all these rotations are in fact a complete balance on its own so this is this is the lower balance so started accepting lower almost uh, a lot of activity below the previous day high so on the 30 minutes when we are looking we were not able to see this picture when we look within we are able to see how it traded within so most of the activity is below the previous day's high and that means it is on the 30 minute it is accepting higher prices but at the same time it is accepting the previous days range as well so kind of uh, a neutralizing effect because we are creating value higher but are countered by sellers and creating value within the previous days range if there was enough momentum we would have built value also above the previous days range now the sign of failure here was all the spikes were holding on though it is roll over and the spikes might come uh, randomly but still it's our duty to keep a watch on the volumes and all the spikes were getting held and all of a sudden this spike broke down and once it broke down goes back up there is no demand here and then breaks down so we could like sell right at the edge when that broke with the level was uh, 895 uh, 8950 after breaking from there creates a minor uh, balance by uh, pulling back up is not able to push through push through this and then fails very emotional selling here gets repaired by uh, pushing back up into the vwap then again so big up because here if you see there is a lot lot of lot of uh, uh, volume getting generated here a uh, stopping volume you get a spike and then a stopping volume then these closes getting inside the low of the stopping volume that means the supply is being absorbed and the moment it creates demand even on a 1 minute pushes higher now here there is no demand coming in and then we get a no supply bar once that no supply is broken back back to the lows again creates a stopping volume instantly creates no supply and push above no supply again goes to the vwap now this falls short and then fails and comes back down so a, a very very nice move in in this zone uh, playable multiple times and Uh, i think most uh, most people actually uh, during the day were discussing this and playing this so uh, these kind of days are fun to trade because you get multiple opportunities now on the 15 minute same story as usual but here 
the buyers rushing and still the auction moving higher. Now there is a bit of negative delta here when the buyers are rushing and uh, the momentum uh, is halting because uh, the spread narrowed down. So uh, the momentum delta went a bit negative but instantly was able to absorb all the supply into this uh, range and uh, again the delta turned positive. Now this was already creating negative delta, negative delta and the moment this, this goes you instantly get a sell off. So on 15 minutes also this sell off results in a stopping volume and then comes when the auction comes back down the sellers getting emotional selling below the low get trapped and a move up into the day mid again. So overall the uh, auction is neutral, inventory is neutral and uh, uh, the price and delta inventory both are neutral because all this, all this, uh, the buying again selling and again buying. So uh, there's uh, not much uh, tilt on either side. Now before getting into uh, the Renko, uh, we would like to go into the open interest. So here we can see that uh, 8,900 call has the highest, oh, oh, oh sorry, 9,000 call has the highest open interest and 8,900 put highest open interest addition because this is this is based on the the change of OI of of the day. So highest open interest addition happened there. On the other side. If we see the overall highest open interest then the 8800 put and the 9000 call have the highest open interest at present. The PCR at 8800 is 2.17, 8900 is 0.94 and the overall PCR not just this but of the all the strikes is 1.49 which is which is quite quite high PCR for a bullish momentum to carry further. Now overall OI change, both uh, the, the puts have withdrawn and the calls have uh, withdrawn only a bit. What, what we can uh, see from this data is that uh, as as per the OI, the range becomes very broader due to the due to the high, higher PCR. So the range can be extremely volatile from eight seven nine four to nine zero six zero spot. But more than that, due to the lower VIX, the range as per VIX is eight eight six three eight nine nine one. So I would I would consider that range to be an ideal range, with with a bit of leeway so we would take something around this so uh, we would take a middle figure so subtract uh, subtract 35 from this so becomes uh, 9025 and add add that into this and subtract from this so if we uh, minus 35 from this then goes to 8830 eight or three zero and this becomes eight nine uh, eight nine zero two five so that that is that is the kind of range I'm looking at now let's let's see what has happened in the OI so I'll uh, open the OI so this is this is how it has been added. 8,900 uh, calls being reduced, 8,800 calls being reduced, 8,850 calls being reduced, 9,000 a huge addition in the calls. Now there is addition at 8,950 calls as well 
and addition at eight nine double zero put and eight 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 five zero put. So the the fight would be at eight eight thousand nine hundred, and then. So the tilt can go towards eight nine five zero. If they start staying above eight nine five zero, they would try to push into this nine thousand zone. And if they uh, stay below eight thousand nine hundred, then they would want to push into the eight eight five zero and uh, scare those uh, put writers. Now let's have a look at the Renko. So here we get a opening swing is done. Uh, we break the opening swing high and impulse pull back impulse, but getting getting a bit messy with zippers all the way. Again, a pullback into does not break the zipper. Final push into the highs and then failing back zipper pullback zipper, or oh, uh, impulse pullback impulse. So this impulse was not able to continue, and that's why when when this pullback happens and not able to continue, the moment it uh, reverses, we we want to reverse along with that. Goes into the day mid, tries to push. If you can see, there is a failure here. The moment it fails below this again, after breaching this, is again a sell. The likely target is actually this, but it did uh, a bit more. Again, creates a zipper above this tail is again a buy. Falls short of the day mid. Again, the same thing is not not pushing through this zipper. So again, a sell, and likely target is the middle of this zipper. Does a bit more. So a uh, very nice trading opportunity on this Renko as well. Now let's uh, let's see what we can expect. So expecting open somewhere into this zone. So if we if we open into this zone, uh, as usual, we will we will uh, try to uh, get uh, two scenarios from wherever it opens and then take over to the uh, rest of the scenario. So tries tries to push into this, fails, comes back, tries to push up, fails and breaks the low. Pushes below the uh, nine thousand level into the uh, uh, pushes below the eight thousand nine hundred level into the eight eight nine zero kind of zone, closing that single print but failing there, and pushing higher, making a move up, a fierce impulsive move up into the highs. So that is that is one scenario. The other scenario is it pushes through this. In the beginning, uh, pushes above the nine five zero into into this or somewhere near this. So pushes into this, fails, comes back down into the uh, eight nine one five one three kind of zone. Tries to push back higher, fails, and then continues its move down into. Uh, and below this 8890 and pushes through even 8870 and if it if it keeps on getting supply then might start pushing into the 8850 as well now suppose if it starts accepting here because here the 9 uh, 8950 uh, call sellers would be in problem then we'll push higher test back the 8950 and then push into the 899 8 uh, 9 Eight zero and eight nine nine zero kind of zone. Any any demand above that would try to scare the nine thousand call writers as well. So expecting a bit of volatility. If these extremes do not uh, get any demand above or any supply below, 
then expecting a muted expiry between 8950 to 8900. So now let's have a look at Bank Nifty. An open outside of the range pushes into the range then all all efforts to push through the a period high are failing there one tick short of the a period high and getting clubbed here so a very strong ledge here breaks down from that ledge tries to push up in the j period after after making a fresh low in the i period so this looked like a failed auction but does, uh, doesn't become a failed auction rather gives a rally high and fails and creates a balance lower so overall if we if we see this a strong ledge at the highs so uh, in a way this auction looks incomplete and might want to complete a bell curve but uh, on the other side this is a strong ledge which can act as a major resistance and the auction might drift further down Now on the one minute you get a volatile spike here and then a channel move higher similar setup like uh, nifty the spike the moment that low is broken tries to pull back into this balance fails and makes makes its way down. Now a channel move down. then a break from that goes higher uh, into the developing POC tries to push above the VWAP again and again creates this balance and fails once that fails uh, from this balance so this is this is a balance you, I, I took the POC forward and see how it is happening is it created a higher low tried to push back again but uh, above the day mid but again fails at that point of control comes down again a higher low again tries to push up into the VWAP day mid and this point of control again fails and then settles down. On the 15 minute very very compressed move. Uh, not like bank nifty looks like a very compressed compressed range here so uh, 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 creating a balance leaning on this rising trend line failing from there coming back down and then creating a balance so not not much on this but uh, the delta was negative the momentum was getting negative as the auction progressed Now let's have a look at the Renko. On the Renko, we have we have a nice move. Uh, the opening opening swing is actually formed. Let me show. One, two, and this is the opening swing. This breaks, impulse down, pull back, impulse. This impulse fall short is protecting the impulse. again a reversal above this is a buy so goes here again breaks so when it's breaking here it's very dicey the moment it breaks this we need to uh, again go into sell mode but again continues higher creates a zipper break of this tip is a sell again a pullback impulse zipper now this gets messy the impulse doesn't come but a very symmetric move up again goes and builds a zipper in the same range break from that pull back and then impulse down now it's it's uh, rotating in a very narrow range post this because on this it will become a narrow range because of because of this, this will calculate the rotations and a triangle forming on this 
So we expect at least this much move in the early session tomorrow. So around uh, high is 89 and low is 60-60 so point move expected in early morning itself and then, then we, it will decide uh, what has to be done. Now let's, uh, let's have a look at the scenarios I would want to because this might get extremely volatile and want to target a lot of things. So open somewhere here, try to try to push into this, into this HVN, fail, come back into this, try to push up and then push below the 26, uh, 2800 and then slowly and steadily move into the 2500 because then, then only it might trap all those guys. On the other side, a uh, easy prey for them can be above this. So pushes above this, comes back and then finally pushes through the 21,000 because then, then the 21,000 call writers can be in panic and that might lead to a short covering. So even if the rain doesn't expand, uh, this is uh, reachable in a better way because it's at 857. So instead of coming 350 points down, better is to go 150 points up so that can that can also be one of the scenarios and uh, very likely to do that but uh, the way the delta was uh, shaping today though now uh, it might be rollovers into the other contract but uh, still the uh, the way it was moving during the day with all all almost all the banks negative on the tick uh, there are chances that this might want to pull back and fill fill the, this complete move. So it might want to retrace like this. So that is that is that scenario is also open. So I think uh, that that's it that's it for today and uh, then after after the expiry we, we can do a weekly review and see what happens and look at what FIIs have uh, carried forward into the March, March series. And uh, first one or two days of March series will give a better idea of uh, what their intentions can be because they, are, they have been selling a lot of futures, index futures, but uh, there is not much clarity whether they have sold a Nifty, Bank Nifty also this month or next month. So when they carry forward, we'll come to know what is their total tally at the end of the series. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a profitable trading day ahead.